Hello and welcome back. It is Rob from Exploring again here with Humankind in the Open Dev titled Lucy. And right now we're doing pretty well, right? So our fame is the highest. We're continuing to make good strides. We've got our city about to be created here at the top because their industry is higher. So they're going to make it faster than these guys do. So it just makes more sense. All right, so World Deed has been, has been locked by another empire. Let's see what they did. I've almost forgotten where to do that. Yep. <laughs> For a second, I was like, where is it? But let's see what they've done. So they... Oh, so look at that. Be the first to discover Vinicunca. Vinicunca? Never heard of it. I don't know how I've never heard of it, but I've never heard of it. So... All right, curiosity collected, very good. So our scouts are doing their thing, and they're out there just surveying the world, which is good. And then here soon, we will have our, what are they called again? Markabata. And I think I might just take out the Assyrians with it, honestly. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, look, we've gained some more fame points. I'm digging it. Very good. We can do carpentry or city defense. I wonder what it is that's keeping us from moving. So it's carpentry. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, or city defense. Actually, bronze working being where it is, oh, we need to do city defense. All right, so we're going to take our very powerful wheeled unit up here. And as you can see, it's, it's really capable of moving. So we're going to, hey, come on, let's do it. Let's move. There we go. Why aren't you moving? Follow me. Here we go. Uh -huh. Move. Ooh, the pathfinding's awful. The easier way would have been to go through there. I shouldn't have let it do that. All right, that's fine. And with that, we're building the farmer's quarters next. And that'll gain seven additional food we're about to gain another population in one turn great so we'll allow that to happen all right so we've now got a religion i know they've changed religion so i'm curious to see how it is now so aristar aristar unlocked we're doing very well oh, look at this yes we're gil we're just killing it all right, so we can look to polytheism, which is going to give us plus 10 faith, plus 5 influence on holy sites, and plus 5 faith on holy sites. Or shamanism, which is going to give us 10 and 10. Uh, I like the idea of polytheism. I like that's something cool to me. All right, so city defense has been researched. We'll take bronze working so we can gain that copper up here. And we can start to exploit that. Looks like 584. Lordy, I like a huge jump in my fame. Looks like the Zhao are just really behind. Poor Zhao. Which is why I'm never going to hurt them. They're so weak and small. Oof. Alright, so we're not going to do that just yet. We're not going to declare war just yet. Yeah, no, we're good with that. Everything looks good, so... Alright. What we'll do now is we'll take a look and see... Oh, wait, we're almost done, right? Yep. Two more turns and we'll be done. We finished our farmer's quarters here. And... Alright, we're good. Thank you. Acknowledge that. We'll come back up to Memphis and see what we're going to do next. So it looks like we can do sh an obelisk of the gods for plus 20 faith and plus 20 stability. I kind of want to do that. Let's get some faith going. So... There's nowhere to like put it in particular that's going to make it better. So I think I'm going to put it somewhere where there's nothing really coming from it. So this looks like a good spot right there. And we do need to start developing some of this area over here as well. All right. So let's see. A melody for every occasion in the teeming iconic city of Memphis. Musicians are a celebrated part of the local culture with a long history and holy rites. They bring nobility to religious rituals, jollity to palace celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, courage to marching armies, and distractions to the gods. Alas, they are still too small in number, especially the good ones, and now word of their renown has reached across the empire. 
Lords, priests, commanders, among others, are grousing that their city deserves such artists too. How will you satisfy them? Every, every city will be required to build an institution of music where we can teach new performers. Mm. Um, you know what? We'll do that. See how it works. See how it works for me. I don't know how it's going to work out for me. So we're going to build places where we can train these people. More musicians everywhere. All right. So the Assyrians are here. And I'm thinking I just go ahead and, and do it. Oh, look at that. They're actually stronger than me. I'm saddened by this. Can we... Oh, I hate to do this, but let's do this. <laughs> I hate to do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. We'll send one more up there. And it won't be too difficult. So, All right, so now... We'll acknowledge this. We'll acknowledge that. And we'll take th this. It looks like it's... Oh, just one turn away. Okay. So while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and build the... Oh, look at that. It's going to take 17 turns. No way. We will not wait that long. We'll just wait one more turn for it to happen. So that we can just attach that to the next city that's going to happen here. And we're going to sentry these guys for now. We'll keep an eye on and what else do we have here? So we can do organized warfare. Let's go ahead and do carpentry because I feel like we're just, you know, keeping things from happening. Oh, look at you. How would you, why would you do that? I was just talking about how I wasn't going to hurt you. And now you're going to make me hurt you. That's just disgusting, really. Wow, negative 38. How is it they hit me that hard? I don't understand how they're so much stronger than me. I should have looked at the numbers. <laughs> That's what I should have done. But good for them. You know what? Good for them. They're defending their territory. I get it. I'm alright with that. I'm not angry. I'm not mad. Alright, so Thebes has been founded, which is great. A new wonder can be claimed even better. So we'll acknowledge this stuff and get it out of the way. We can do Stonehenge for food and stability and faith. We can do the Art uh, Temple of Artemis, Artemis for 20 faith and stability and health regen on unit. I wonder how that works. Health regen on unit. Plus 20 stability. Modified district production cost by negative 25%. That's actually great. Hanging ba Gardens of Babylon, plus 20 stability, extracts any luxury resource from the deposit is built on. Well, we don't have any luxury resources, so we don't, we're don't we not able to do that. On capital, plus 5 food on the capital of empires following the same religion. Plus 5 stability on the capital of the same religion. This is definitely more of a st like faith and stability, but also plus 10 food. I like Stonehenge. I mean, we're, we are the Egyptians, though. Modified district production cost by 25%. That's actually a big deal, too. We're going to claim that one. And you know what we're going to do first? We're going to come over here. We're going to attach you. Wait, hold on a second. Why can't I attach you? Cannot be done. Oh, wait, I don't have enough influence. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so let's come over here and... We'll add this to the the list here. Cannot be done as the adjacent tiles are not valid. Okay, it has to be there. Where I lose science. Oh, it has to be on a... Okay, no. This could be somewhere here. This is only three... Three industry and three food. What about over here? All right, what does the adjacency need? Okay, let, let me see what the adjacent... So it must be placed next to a river. That's why. All right, so it has to be over here by the river. Down by the river. All right, so we can do... Ooh, is there... Any... Yeah, that one's actually a good spot because it's not going to take away anything but two food. So we'll do that. It's going to be beautiful. 
It's going to be in a valley, which is weird, but I don't care. It's going to be beautiful. All right, great. We've gained this. We're going to go ahead and combine the two then. And we'll let them keep doing their thing. Oh, I didn't want to combine them with the scout riders, though. Yeah, you know, sorry, but I don't want you to slow my scout riders down. So you can auto explore too. Do your thing. And you, congratulations. We are now a full fledged city. And what we'll do is we will. Huh. What do we need first? So we do. Oh, that's right. We need food. We need to get these guys up to speed. So. Let's look to see where we can gain the most food. Looks like plus five food is going to be it. We're also going to set up the... Uh, oh, wait. I must have skipped it. It's up here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. We're going to take the horses up here. And with that, we're also going to make sure that the horses are being exploited. All right. Let's see what we can do here. So let's take a look at the technology screen to kind of give me an idea of where I am. So masonry, pottery workshop. So we're gaining influence. We've got stoneworks to gain some industry. Watchtower for detection range. Fishing, we're not really close to water. Not close enough. Well, actually, no, that's not true. We're on a river. But we're not close to, like, the main water. Although I wonder if we can... Uh, I look... I know we're on the on the far right, just over here. Oh, that's not that's a different territory, is it? Yeah, it's part of that territory. So we could oh, and look at that. So maybe we could take that and I mean we're always in for food, right? We always want food. Once we attach these two, it'll be good to have that for these. What are those? What is that? Those goldfish? Those are goldfish. Alright, yeah, let's do that. So we're going to take fishing. I like it. Alright, knowledge is power. So we've gained another era star. So that's great. And now we can do... Well, we can do masonry, or we can do sailing. Ooh, I do, I do like the idea of doing sailing. I'd really like to see what's out there. I don't think I've ever built a ship in humankind because I just never made it that far. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a bad tester. All right, so... Okay, great. So we're doing that. Very good. You can click out of that, please. Thank you. Gracias. All right, so now we can actually attach Thebes. Or this to Thebes, so we're going to do that. Very good. It also means that we can exploit the... Oh, now we guess. Look at that. So we can build a harbor, which is great. And we're going to take the copper here, too. And we should be really... Wait, have we not... How did the Giza Pyramid take over? That shouldn't have happened. I didn't know if I did that accidentally, but it shouldn't have happened. So we'll move you up here. No, what? No, stop, stop. That is awful pathfinding. I'm very upset by that. Alright, so it looks like... It looks like animals attacked me? Confirm, I don't know. Confirm battle. <laughs> sure. We'll end deployment here too. Yes, it looks like animals attacked me. They're trying to hunt me. And that makes me sad. Because I'm going to kill bears. Sorry, guys. You had to die. And it looks like some barbarians. Mercenaries, I should say. Sorry. The Matinians. So a little independent people group here. Coming out the woodworks. All right. And what can we do? So we've got food quarters, or the farmer quarters going up here. 
We're working on the Pyramid of Giza. I'm really excited about that. And then once we get... Yeah, so now that you're close, can you go the normal way? Thank you. That's good, because then we can launch war against... Oh, wow, it looks like... I was pretty sure the Assyrians actually were here, and now it's a Hittite. So we're about to take out the Assyrians, I think, for good. Forever! Of dogs and wolves, alarming tidings from Memphis, the heart of the empire's most important breadbasket region. Shepherds in the city's surrounding land claim that wild beasts are killing their livestock in unprecedented numbers. They warn you that if nothing is done, you'll lose both a source of food and valuable pelts. What do you want to do? We're going to guard them. We're going to guard them. We're going to spend that money and we're going to guard them. All right, so we're ending turn one more time before we declare war. So we're no longer there. We're going to take these guys. Wait. And we're going to attack. Yes, we are fighting. And looks like we're going to assault. Confirm battle. And I'm going to move these guys closer. There we go. You can attack that, which would be great. Uh, can you do it again? Because it looks like you want to do it again. <laughs> Alright, we'll move you back one. And then we'll take you, and we're going to attack the same group here. Oh, that looks like they're going to do way more damage there, though. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Quite a bit of damage. And we'll move back. Because it looks... I forgot these guys... I didn't realize, actually. I didn't look because I'm... Just not smart enough to look to see that these guys are ranged. Awesome. Alright, so we've taken out that one group. We'll move over here and we'll start to attack this group again. Oof, I think we just killed them. We certainly did. And are you going to... No. Okay, we'll end round. What? No. What? No. Alright, cool. No, that's good. We're going to just keep attacking them then. We've got the high ground. There we go. Yes, very, very good. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, so it looks like we've kind of taken it. I mean, it's ours now. So where are the Assyrians? I think they're gone. Uh, who is Empire 2? I feel uh, like forget you guys are... the demands! Let's just go straight to war! My empire won't be cowed! Um, why would I ask you to give me Thebes? Because you don't have Thebes. It's mine. Um, so, yeah. I don't know why I'd give you Thebes, because I have Thebes. That's mine. Alright, the capture of the great city of Ashur was a great, a proud day for your empire. Marching through its gates, however, it was clear the defeated citizens were equally proud of their own colorful culture. What do you make of their customs and rights? That's a good question. So, monoculturalism without unity will only have slow, slow, slow division. Plus five turns before any, before being converted by other influences on territory. A culture is like a rope. Stronger when composed of many strands. I kind of agree with that. It's very much the American way. Although, I'm not sure we're so great anymore. So, uh, yeah. Anyways. So, we have a sewer now. We have Thebes and we have Memphis. And we're doing really well with our fame. Although, good lord. I think... Whoever purple is, is really doing well. Organized. Okay, so... We can do masonry. Let's look at the technology screen yet again. We'll come back and do masonry. We gotta finish that up so we can move on to the next one. Aerostar unlocked. So, very good. We're just right behind purple, which is fine. 
you know, I'd rather be in front of purple, but behind purple's fine too, as long as it's right behind purple. All right, so with that being said, we're going to be starting, we're going to be selecting a new culture here in a second, and I'm excited to see who, what it'll be. All right, so we're just going to have you move in here in sentry, just to kind of keep us safe for a little bit. The battle is currently underway. All right, well, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to let this just resolve. All right, so Gained yet another era star, which is great. It looks like we have yet another fight here, and we're going to let that also. Very good. All right, let's choose now. So we can do cultural transcendence, right? So that, I don't really know what the, like the, the, <sighs> What I'm trying to say is I don't really know what the point of a sentence, a transcendence is. I don't know like what benefits there are to that. And it doesn't really say. So that's something they should probably fix because it doesn't say like, oh yeah, transcending now will uh, make you the best thing ever. Uh, it just tells me already what I already knew. So we can look to other things now. We can look to the Askemites, which are going to be gaining quite a bit of money. And the Shotalai. We have the Greeks who are going to be very research oriented. And the Hoplites, which are a very, you know, uh, I don't know, historically famous unit. Carthaginians with their money as well. So they also have the Cathan, which is going to gain industry per coastal. Oh, we don't have much of that. So we're not going to worry about that. The Celts. So they gain food. They have the Nematon and they have the Gash Gashate. Well, he looks cool. The Goths, clearly a warlike. So we have the Gothic Cavalry. And yeah, that's cool. The Huns as well are going to be very. Oh, look at that. The Hun Accord. I like it. The Marians are influence based. And then we could go to Mayans, which I did last time. So I'm not going to do that this time because I don't want to do the same thing I did like that. So the Archimedes Persians. Archimedes Persians. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Ooh, I kind of want to do the Romans. The Praetorian Guards. Look at that. Jeez. They're very strong. But their influence thing isn't really my spot, my style. So I'm going to go with the... Oh. I feel like let's see what these two are about. Modify all constructibles, buy out cost negative 50%. That's good. But this is also, yeah, this is very clearly a coastal thing. This is plus five money per religion, plus five money per adjacent farmer's quarters. And plus 10% money generated from an on ongoing trade on city or outpost. Unlocks action buyout on empire. Hmm. I wanted to go with a merchant group. It looks like I only have two choices, and one of them is definitely more water-oriented than the other. And I'm not really too close or close enough to the water. I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Let's come out here for a second. Do I take that one? Because I would feel like I do have a lot of coastal water here, especially now that I have Thebes. Maybe I do. Maybe I do go with the Carthaginians. You know what? I'm going to, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna really focus on the water. So modify all constructibles by out cost by negative fifty percent. That's a big deal. So plus two industry per adjacent coastal water. Per, plus two industry per adjacent lake. And then they have war elephants. Oh my god. Yes. All right. We're gonna adopt the Carthaginians. All right, so you know what I'd really like to see is that these like kind of take on a little bit of each of the cultures. Like she's completely changing her look, right? Before she was very much Egyptian, and now she's Carthaginian. Maybe she should have kept like some of the Egyptian, and maybe she did. I don't know. As urban centers grow, both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences flourish. 
as military tactics and mathematical equations become as coveted as physical goods. Empires struggled to control these intangibles, however, as some might trouble their stability. Very cool. All right. A little bit of popping. Look at all that popping. Don't stop doing that. Stop popping in. Or is it the way they're changing? Yeah, I think it's the way. I think it's changing the way I look. That's what it's doing. I think. I don't know. It looked like popping, but it might have been changing the way my my buildings look. So. Yeah, let's see what our merchant thing is here. So merchant doubles gain of money when selling a resource. Halves cost of money when buying any resource. Unlocks action for trade on Empire. So now we are the Carthaginians and we are focused on trade. And we're going to be focused on our coastal water too. So that'll be the thing we do in the future episodes. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Let me know if there's anything you want to see or if there's anything that I'm doing that is just stupid. Very likely. But I'm all ears. So let me know. We'll keep exploring up here. Looks like... I don't know if that means the Huns have it. I think the Huns do have it. Or not the Huns, sorry. The Zhao. But anyways... Until next episode, guys, thanks for watching, and keep exploring and all that stuff. Bye!